I'll back up a little bit. Part of the scaling process was, you know, departments used to be very isolated. Like you had like a person managing a department and they just set up a thing and they were the only person that logged into it. And as we've grown, obviously we've increased our need to add users to those tools and to add um, cost departmental departmental collaboration to those tools um, and to make things easier for people. You know, we've increased drastically the number of tools that we're using. So um, everything from our uh, like HR logins to our computers to um, we're working right now to link the software that we use to schedule all of the different spaces in the park. Um, we're working to link our scheduling software. Um, Google, obviously, and through Google, a couple other, it's not even, I'm not sure that that's actually related to this conversation, but anyway, um, I think people are excited to have one password to get into everything. <laughs> and, you know, at first when we went to different departments and said, you're using this tool, we need to integrate it into Jump Cloud. You know, I think a year and a half ago, people, or whenever we started this process, people were like, you know, a little apprehensive and frankly, a little eye rolly about it. And now if, we ask like, oh, do you want to link this tool to Jump Cloud? They're like, yes, 100%, that sounds great. Because <laughs> um, it's just like one less thing for them to keep track of. And it makes things very easy for people to know this is the way that I log into things. Um, and then on an operational perspective for my team, um, everything from like our key cards are linked to Jump Cloud, um, emails, everything like that. We have a ton of um, people coming and going, you know, whether it's because we contracted a specific person to work for a short period of time, a lot of our employees are seasonal. Um, so it's really a lot easier for my department to be able to manage onboarding and offboarding because so many things are, are just tied together and it makes it less cumbersome to keep track of all of the different pieces. Um, to expand on that, uh, they're using Jump Cloud in a lot of basic standard ways and a lot of um, more sophisticated, less common ways. So um, they use Microsoft 365 for their primary collaboration suite, right? They're not on Google, they're using 365. So everyone's on Outlook uh, and using the full Microsoft suite. But because they're a nonprofit, uh, they also have Google um, that we basically we linked Google to Jump Cloud so that when someone gets sent, like my company internally, MacTez uses Google, and when we create a Google shared doc, right, or a spreadsheet, and we share it with someone at Little Island, they can now log in and access that because their accounts are automatically provisioned into Google. They sign in, it's federated. When they click the link, they have to sign in with Jump Cloud, and they're able to kind of use the full Google suite without really engaging with Google very much. Um, and there are other tools they use like Slack and Asana where they're not necessarily paying for the enterprise plan, uh, but they're able to sign in with Google. And because Google is federated back to Jump Cloud, when they click sign in at Slack, they're presented with a Jump Cloud window and they put in their Jump Cloud MFA and kind of go through that same standard process. Um, in addition to kind of just going through Microsoft, uh, Azure AD is then connected to a bunch of other services that, that don't necessarily support any SAML binding, right? If, if, if something supports SAML, we're going directly to Jump Cloud, but there are many environments where there aren't, you can't just use a generic SAML connector. The only support is for Azure AD. Um, so uh, Artifacts, which is the, tool that Catherine alluded to a moment ago about internal scheduling, right? There's a number of performance venues in the park. And when things are scheduled there, it happens through artifacts. Uh, artifacts is going to be integrated into Azure AD, which is then federated back to Jump Cloud. So they don't support more native SAML connections, but we're able to extend the Jump Cloud like user experience across to things that don't normally natively support it. Um, Similarly, the access control system, the RFID cards that are in use across the company, right? Every person who has to go into the park and open a door, there's hundreds of staff in a given week that may have to deal with that. Those cards get issued in mass uh, and, and there's not an inconsequential amount of turnover at the park. And trying to manage in addition to say, okay, well, uh, 
their junk cloud access has been revoked to separate that out and say, oh, well, now we have to also manage key card access seemed pretty daunting. Uh, so we connected their access control system to Azure AD so that now when you suspend a junk cloud user, their account gets suspended in the access control system as well. Um, and when they have to log in and view camera footage, they have to put in their junk cloud MFA credentials, right? So there's a bunch of things that the junk cloud wouldn't otherwise have been able to do, but through go tunneling through Google and Microsoft, we're extending it elsewhere. Um, they also use it for all of their HR systems, uh, their internal, um, their internal survey systems. There's uh, Airtable, which they use just to organize their lives, is looking to get integrated. Um, let me just pull up their thing and see what are the other SSO connections we have on there, because they've got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, Canto, maybe? I don't know. Canto no, was that's the one thing that's not. Yeah, because there was like two people who did it. Um, GitHub for all of their website stuff. Um, Zoom for all of their conferencing, which they use across the board. Microsoft, or sorry, not Microsoft. Um, uh, Adobe, right, for, for the multitude of Adobe users across the organization. And 1Password, which is an interesting one where um, for, there are many situations where someone is logging in with a credential other than their own personal junk cloud credential right uh whenever possible that's the case but there are situations where we may need to have a shared user account that multiple people across departments have to log in and send something as right so contracts at invoices at maybe things that um people need to sign into but it's not their credential and the we are using one password to share those types of passwords across the organization in a secure manner and one password has been integrated with junk cloud so that when people are onboarded and offboarded, the there's an SCIM automatic provisioning. So that when someone leaves, and this is most important for departures, when someone leaves, their computer stops working, their user disappears, their key cards stop working, one password access disappears, like they, just everything comes grinding to a halt in an instant. Um, so they've got a really wide reaching set of junk cloud integrations. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.